Welcome back here at 823. We're tossing it to Corey. He's, uh, well, he's engaging in a little goat yoga. Yeah, and I'm still yeah. not clear on the, the value add of the goat. So hopefully you'll take us through that. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> Troy, I'm glad that you asked because we're not only, there's not only value in goats and yoga, we're also adding all kinds of other, ho a lot of hoof stock, if you will. We've got pigs. And why, Sarah, why? Why the pig? What's the, what's the advantage? This is pork chop. People keep asking us what's next. Mm -hmm. We just keep adding more animals. We got the alpacas, mm -hmm. we got pigs. Cows come for cows cuddling. What? <laughs> Easy the cow. Like full size? Yes! 1,200 pounds. Wow. And it just makes it so much more fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, obviously, this is nice because we know the goat and the pig are mortal enemies because the goat, <laughs> carnivore, pig, vegetarian essentially yet they can they can come together april you started the whole goat yoga craze you're ground zero for yes. goat yoga fun you brought a lot of friends that brought a lot of friends out this morning uh we'll let sarah get to the class and get them in motion um first of all what was the inspiration you were kind of working out with your own goats right yeah, for the yeah. american ninja american warrior ninja show warrior. i was working out with goats like push-ups and squats and whatnot and sarah does various types of uh yoga she does paddleboard yoga and sarah just came to me one day and she's like I just did goat yoga. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it's just a no-brainer, you know, it just made sense. Now, was there alcohol involved? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I just know checking. We were all sober. <laughs> in this. <laughs> well, the whole concept is so fun. Now, you've got your friend Summer over here with us. But we're, we're watching uh, your class in, in action. Summer, thank you for getting up early. Now, uh, let's walk over this way, April. What are we watching right now? What, what do you call this? And of all the goat yoga poses or exercises, what's happening right now? This is a kneeling prayer and a goat circle. The goats run across their backs, so they have to hold this position mm -hmm. for a while. And it's very good strength core exercise. Yeah. It's a good workout. It is a good workout. Well, give, well let's ask as we go along. Gut reaction? Oh, this is so much fun and adorable. Great for kids. Does this happen at your own home? <laughs> never, never been trampled by a goat? <laughs> oh, yeah. How does that feel? They have really pointy toes. They do have, po they do have pointy toes. Yeah. Well, it, won't, it won't last too much longer. Oh, there you go. <laughs> well, April... They may actually be sore after goat yoga. Like well, understood. Workout, you know? I guess it is. Well, you're going for a world record soon, Sarah. Tell me about that and how people can help you out. Okay, so February 23rd, we need 350 people and 70 goats to have the Guinness Book of World Records largest goat yoga class. Wow. And you can sign up on our website. Are you looking for extra goats? We, ha we are renting petting zoo goats. <laughs> oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> April's got like 35, but 70 is a lot. Her husband cuts her off at 30. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to think. No one would be thought of as crazy. Oh, love this. This is dynamite. Well, uh, Troy, Celeste, there's still time for you to get involved. And I, Troy, I think that perhaps that world record day might be an interesting oh. uh, Maybe you should, morning uh, for you. Yeah. Put it on the calendar. You, you should join Corey at regionals. <laughs> yeah. Hi, good luck at regionals, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Hope you make it to sectionals. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you very much. You know, uh, when I was younger, Oh, look at these two. Uh, when I was younger. Uh, what is that called? Do you think I can still goat? make it to regionals? Oh, yeah, totally. Yoga? You get done. Yeah. Actually, I'm pretty good at that cool. Uh, we, what do we call this? Oh, we're lunging that now? Was oh, stretch out that, that hammy. Warrior. There you go. Yo, he'll be doing the splits in no time. Warrior. Oh. <laughs> Seeing a few. That's pretty good. He's very, yeah, he did very well. You see the little baby goat running across the field. <laughs> so cute. More shot of goat yoga. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Core. Let's do it. Getting ready for regionals. Morning again, you guys. <laughs> I'm hoping so. And we've got some folks to help us along. It's Carly and Natalie and Courtney, Courtney and Caitlin. Kayla. Uh, Kayla, sorry. So close. So close. I was closer 30 seconds ago. Uh, all from GCU, home of the Lopes. Now, this is your first time at the class, but you have a particular uh, a, a love for goats. Yes. Why is that? You grew, you grew up on a farm, obviously. No, I grew up in Denver, Colorado. Oh, that's not goat country. No, it's not. But I went to Guatemala a couple years ago, uh -huh. and there were baby goats there. Oh. They were really cute. Yeah, that's fun. So. Um, now, uh, how did you hear about the class? Um, we just like wanted something to do this weekend, and so we were just looking up online things to do, and we found it on the internet. It's really fun, eh? Yeah. 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 <laughs>
probably weren't doing this back wherever you came from, right? No. <laughs> no. Well, it's always a great class with uh, April and the gang. And, you know, it's more than goats. Now, this is Marie. We met Marie Hello. earlier. Tell me about your friend. What do you know about him? This is my friend Gilbert. Uh-huh. He's five months young. Yes. And he's a pixie pig. And he weighs about eight pounds, and he'll get up to 20 pounds. Really? Oh, now, have, so you d have you done goat yoga before? This is my first time. Really? Yeah. Well, you seem to be enamored by the whole idea. I, I Making so friends? I love right now. <laughs> yes, I love it. I love animals. Have you ever had a goat on your back before today? No. Do you think it'll happen again? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I hope so. Well, the great braids, by the way. Who did that work? Is that you or your mom? For what? Who your did braids. your braids? Oh, my mom. Really? Let me see. Turn around. Give everyone a good look there. Very nice. Bit of a loose fall here, but still nice and tight at the end. Very, very, very good work. Come on over this way, you guys. Uh, let's uh, catch up with April. I know she's around here somewhere, but just as you take in the whole scope of this class, it's enormous. And here's April once again. Uh, thanks again for uh, getting all your friends out. And Sarah, you too. I'll get in the middle. Come on over. Okay. Um, give us the nuts and bolts of the class. Let's, if you've never been, but you'd like to come, how do you make it happen? Well, Goat Yoga is for everybody, and you just sign up online, GoatYoga.com, and we have all our classes there, and hey, don't hold a goat. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> so all the uh, the whole schedule is there. How often are you running classes, Sarah? We are doing about three days a week. Everyone's welcome. You can tell little kids love it. They start doing yoga at home, and they're like, I want to do goat yoga every week. Oh, it's the awesome. best. Well, thanks so much for sharing all your talents, and congratulations on Goat Yoga Month. It's February. Uh, I think you could be shoving Valentine's Day out of the way very yeah. soon. Congratulations. Just come and love a goat. Uh, absolutely. And what's the day for the world record? It's February 23rd. At Mesa Amphitheater. Yes. Washington. And you can Just sign up out. for that online also. Very yep. good. All right. Say goodbye, everybody. Thanks Bye. for getting up early. Go yoga Go people. yoga. And alpacas. And, yeah, alpacas. Pot-bellied pigs. So cute.